Fort Leonard Wood is a thriving and prosperous installation with a diverse mission. Over the last 70 years, the installation has evolved from a small basic training post to a premier Army training center of excellence. Fort Leonard Wood is a valued asset and has proven to be a great investment for the United States, receiving gains in prior base realignment and closures, including the U.S. Army Engineer School and Brigade, U.S. Army Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear School and Brigade, the U.S. Military Police School and Brigade, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Prime Power School. The Department of Defense has also entrusted Fort Leonard Wood with critical joint and inter-service training and efficiencies in discretionary moves. We are home to a U.S. Navy detachment, a large Colonel-commanded U.S. Marine Corps detachment, and sizable U.S. Air Force detachment. These detachments provide select training for nuclear, biological, chemical, engineer, military police, and motor transport disciplines, and share training and resources with their counterpart U.S. Army schools on post. All DOD training for earth moving, motor transportation, civil support, and chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear first responders happens at Fort Leonard Wood. We are home to a large international student detachment and the DOD's Humanitarian Demining Training Center. Fort Leonard Wood is also home to the 102nd U.S. Army Reserve Training Division, which oversees all chemical, engineer, and military police reserve training across the country and is commanded by a U.S. Army Reserve's Brigadier General. In total, Fort Leonard Wood provides training and education for nearly 100,000 soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and civilians each year including nearly 14,000 service members for more than 120 U.S. Army Reserve and National Guard units. As a training and doctrine command unit, Fort Leonard Wood has these core functions for its three schools and proponent areas. Initial military training, leader development, education, lessons learned, doctrine, training development, training support, functional training, concepts development, requirements determination, and capabilities integration. Fort Leonard Wood has a large basic combat training mission, having one of four reception battalions in the Army, having one of two Army Gender Integrated Reception Sites, where we receive 42% of the women joining the Army, and providing basic combat training to one in five new soldiers entering the Army, are just a few reasons why our mission is critical for the nation. Fort Leonard Wood is also home to the Army's most occupationally large and diverse non-commissioned officers academy, covering 19 military occupational specialties. We also have oversight of the Lind NCO Academy at Joint Base lewis McCord and the Kreckel NCO Academy at Fort Campbell. Other off-site units which we command and control include inter-service or joint advanced individual training for engineer and military police occupational specialties. In addition to being a premier training center with three training brigades, Fort Leonard Wood is home to numerous deployable forces command units, including the 4th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade, which oversees four battalions composed of 24 companies and three teams, representing engineer, military police, and support functions. The Maneuver Enhancement Brigade is the Army's brigade of choice to support and defend the homeland in any type of disaster situation. Employing a highly professional and motivated workforce of more than 9,500 civilians that work for the Training and Doctrine Command, Installation Management Command, Medical Command, Network Enterprise Command, Army Material Command, Civilian Human Resources Agency, the United States Army Corps of Engineers, and other tenant activities in a variety of fields, Fort Leonard Wood is a leading employer for the community and region. In addition to our civilian workforce, each day we average 12,000 service members in training, 7,000 military permanent party, 13,000 military families, half of which live on post, and 55,000 retirees and their families in the greater region. The daytime population of the post is about 34,000. In addition, nearly 200,000 family members and friends attend their loved ones' graduations at Fort Leonard Wood each year. Fort Leonard Wood has an operating budget of approximately $470 million, which includes civilian salaries but does not include more than $680 million in military salaries. Impact aid to the Waynesville school system totals about $10 million, and 60% of military members who retire from Fort Leonard Wood stay in the area. Due to Fort Leonard Wood's mission growth, our military construction program has $454 million worth of projects underway or pending start this year, and the Army is investing $31 million in new family homes on post. So it's no surprise that Fort Leonard Wood was ranked third in Forbes' list of fastest-growing small towns in America. Throughout Fort Leonard Wood's tremendous growth, 
Two things have remained constant. Our leader's commitment to providing service members and their families a quality of life equal to their service and the overwhelmingly positive community relationships and support. The unparalleled support from the state of Missouri includes numerous acts of legislation directly benefiting veterans, retired military, and current military members and their families with tax benefits, unemployment allowances, tuition assistance, and ease of transition for spousal professional certification and for children in public schools. Families residing on post live in new or renovated homes and many single soldiers live in new apartment-style townhouses. Children of service members living on post attend the acclaimed Waynesville School District, which has high marks in academics, athletics, and the arts, as well as state-of-the-art new facilities. In addition, military, family members, and local residents can pursue higher education on post at Missouri's sixth largest degree-granting institution. Lastly, Fort Leonard Wood is highly engaged in and has numerous initiatives supporting the Army's energy strategy and sustainability goals. Fort Leonard Wood has no known encroachment, energy, water, or environmental issues to impede future progress. With everything Fort Leonard Wood has to offer, from our inter-service chemical, engineer, military police, and motor transportation missions supporting national security, to our quality of life and capacity in infrastructure, facilities, and land with no known environmental or encroachment issues, to our inexpensive and military-friendly state and communities, it's not surprising that more and more service members, families, and civilians are making Fort Leonard Wood their lifelong home. With these qualities, Fort Leonard Wood is postured to grow and prosper for years to come.